Okay guys, this video is a response to a private message I got. Uh, basically someone wrote to me and they told me that they seem to be shooting low. And it's not just with one semi-auto handgun, but it seems to be with about uh, any, any semi-auto that he shoots. So I came to the conclusion that he's doing what's called milking the grip. He's pulling his shot is what he's doing. So I'm going to demonstrate to you what he's doing wrong, and I'm going to show you an easy way to correct that problem. Now what I'm going to show you is something that anybody can apply, and I believe it'll help some of the people that aren't even having a problem with pulling their shots. I think this might even help you a little bit as well. So here we go. Unloaded gun, of course. Okay, basically, when you grip the gun, uh, now, I shoot left, and basically I'd be shooting with a standard, you know, two-handed grip like this when I shoot. But the best and easiest way for you to not pull or milk the grip is to let off the pressure on your little finger. When I shoot any semi-auto gun, my little finger is just a couple millimeters off the grip. You don't need your little finger for gripping. Uh, as a matter of fact, on the baby Glocks, your little finger isn't used if you have a medium to large size hand. So you really don't need the little finger to grip. See what happens is your second and third finger right here can pull as tight as you want. They pull the grip straight back into your palm like this. This is straight rearward pressure. Now if the little finger exerts too much pressure it tips the gun down like that. People shoot and right as the brown goes off they flinch and they squeeze and they don't even realize it. Now if you just let that pressure off that little finger even if you squeeze with either one of these two fingers and trust me right now I'm squeezing hard you cannot unbalance the gun from pointing in a straight direction like this. It's pulling straight into the palm of your hand. Little finger on there I can so easily now tip that gun. So basically I'd be doing that, a two-handed grip, and I would just let the pressure off of my little finger in there, right here. It's just off the grip. All you need it to be is just enough to be off the grip. Or it can even be slightly touching the grip. You do not need to exert any pressure with that little finger. So you need to start training and practicing to shooting with the pressure off the little finger of your shooting hand. Okay, that's the first tip. Uh, sorry I took so long on explaining that. I just wanted to be very thorough with it and make sure I covered it so you'd understand what I'm talking about. Okay, the second tip that I'm going to give you about shooting some autos is trigger control. Uh, there's two different parts of this, which one is going to be dry firing, and another one is uh, ways to get the trigger control better when you're out at the range. Uh, first of all, dry firing is a great thing to do in the house. Of course, make sure the gun's unloaded before you do this. Use your standard two-handed grip. You know, point at something on the wall, whatever, the wall switch plate cover, a picture, whatever, and pull that trigger back nice and slow, and make sure that the end of that barrel doesn't move when the trigger breaks. Okay? Now, when you go to the range, uh, what I've had some people do, and this actually worked for them really well, they were having a hard time hitting the way they wanted to hit with a semi-auto handgun. And I told them to pull the trigger nice and slow, just real nice and slow. Feel that trigger all the way back, and then click. Don't 
slap. Then what I had them doing was I told them to pull the trigger and when the gun fired, keep that trigger in the rearward position. And now the slide stopped moving, the next round's chambered, you want to shoot another shot. Now, let's just say that it, the trigger was reset, okay, the slide went backwards and chambered around. Now, let up and feel where your reset is. Right there's my reset. Now keep the trigger right there. Do not come all the way forward with it. See how much further back I am? Now fire next round, nice and slow. Now the slide would go rearward, come forward, chamber another round. You're still holding your trigger back. Let it come forward. Feel your reset right there. Stop at your reset point. Know at this point you're just going to have a little bit of pressure to fire that round, get a feel for your trigger reset like that. Uh, I found that it's helped people with trigger control. Fire that round and keep that trigger in the rearward position, uh, rearward in the trigger guard, and then you know look down your sights, everything's done, the gun's fired, let it out nice and slow, feel that reset, aim and pull your next shot. That can help you get better trigger control at the range. Okay guys, I didn't want to make this video real long. It's just a couple of tips I had that I thought might be a good video for everyone. Even, even if you shoot pretty good, you might not realize how you're milking that grip with that little finger. Try it sometime. Let that pressure off. Even if it still touches the grip a little bit, let that pressure off. Use these two that push straight back into the palm of the hand. All right, guys. Hopefully, it's some good information that will help someone out there. If it helps you, let me know. And if you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Um, if it's a good enough question, I'll even do a video for you. Until next time, this is H4T, and I am out of there.